Hi, my name is Cheryl and I'm the PSLE Science Specialist here at the Pig Lab. Welcome to another episode of PSLE Science Meet Simple. In this video, I will be analyzing a past year examination question on the topic of plants. I will also include this question to download for free by clicking the link in the description box down below. So let's get started. Question 4. The diagrams below show two plants A and B. The question asks, which one of the statements about plants A and B is correct? Let's take a look at option 1. A has a weak stem, but B does not have a weak stem. If we take a look at plant A, you realize that plant A is growing around something. What is it growing around? It is growing around a tree trunk. So the tree trunk itself is actually not plant A. Plant A is actually the plant that is twirling around the tree trunk. Have you seen such plants before? I'm sure you have, right? So why do you think there are plants that like to twirl around another plant? There is actually a reason why they do so. Let me give you a hint. If the plant is able to twirl around a tree trunk, does it have a strong stem or a weak stem? This suggests to us that it has a weak stem. So those plants that you usually observe that twirls around another object or a tree trunk are actually plants with weak stem. So why do you think plants with weak stems want to twirl around another object? I want you to recall the function of the stem. What is the function of the stem? The stem of the plant supports the plant and keeps the plant upright. So why do you think plants with weak stems are usually found climbing around a tree trunk or another object? If a plant has weak stem, this means that the plant is not able to stand upright. And what do you think will happen to the plant if the plant cannot stand upright? The plant might not be able to trap enough sunlight. And what do you think will happen to the plant if the plant cannot trap enough sunlight? The plant will not be able to carry out enough photosynthesis and it will not be able to make enough food. And do you think the plant will be able to survive well in this case? No, the plant cannot survive well, right? So the reason why a plant with weak stem would want to climb around a tree trunk or even on another object is because it wants to be able to trap maximum amount of sunlight so that it can use the sunlight to make food during what process? During the process of photosynthesis. So now you have identified that plant A has a weak stem, let's take a look at the diagram for plant B. If you look at plant B, you would realize that there is some similarity between plant A and plant B. What is that similarity? Plant A is growing around a tree trunk, but for plant B, it is growing around a stick. So do not confuse the stick as the plant. The plant is actually this part that I'm highlighting in red now. Since plant B is growing around a stick, what does this suggest to you about its stem? Does it have a strong stem or does it have a weak stem? Plant B has a weak stem as well. So that is the reason why it has to grow around a stick. Remember what is it for? We have mentioned it earlier, right? Growing around a stick will allow the plant to trap maximum amount of sunlight so that the plant can use it to make food. During what process? During photosynthesis. So with all this understanding, let's take a look at option 1 again. Option 1 mentioned that A has a weak stem, but B does not have a weak stem. Is this statement correct? This statement is incorrect. Why? This is because both plants A and B have a weak stem and not just plant A. That's why option 1 is incorrect. Let's take a look at option 2. Option 2 mentioned that A uses its leaves while B uses its flowers to climb up the support. If you take a look at what I have highlighted in blue and what I have highlighted in red at the diagrams on top, can you tell me the plant uses which plant part to climb up the tree trunk and the stick? It is using its stem and not the leaves or the flowers. So statement 2 is incorrect. Let's take a look at option 3. Both plant A and B cannot use their leaves to make food. Remember we mentioned earlier why the plants with weak stems want to climb around a tree trunk or other objects? It is because they want to be able to trap 
maximum amount of sunlight to make food. So can we say that the plants cannot use their leaves to make food? No, because the purpose of them climbing up the tree trunk or the stick in the first place is to make enough food. Let's look at the last option. Option 4 mentioned that both A and B use their stems to climb up the support to get sunlight. Is this what we have mentioned earlier? Yes, and that's why the answer for this question is option 4. Thank you for watching this video. If you find that this video was useful, do give us a thumbs up and leave us a note in the comment section below so we know we're on the right track. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and click here for more. See you next time!